Ah, oh, Vegemite, I've heard all about this. I've heard it's delicious if you just put it right in your gums, right? Is that what you said to do? <laughs> it's still slithering out of there. <laughs> oh, but what gets me, oh God, that was awful. That was terrible. It's not my favorite. <laughs> Alright, John Claude, let's make an intro. Take number one. I've traveled the world perfecting my taste, sampling preservatives and mysterious meats, all to find the tastiest meal ready to eat. I'm Tyler Butterworth. And I'll be your culinary guide. Sit back, settle in, and listen as you witness a true cooking revelation. Is it edible? Will I throw up? Uh, get, the right in between. get ready to have your taste buds tantalized. From the United States to around the world, I am determined to find the tastiest meal ready to eat. Ready, set, go. I don't need any hot water for this, right? You don't need it, but you, the mashed potatoes will probably be significantly better with it. The, the, unless, you, unless you enjoy eating cold mashed potatoes. Oh, I'm going to eat it cold. It won't, it won't mix properly. 100% cold. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. All right, ready? Oi, mate. <laughs> Oi, mate. Have you ever wondered what they eat down under? Well, that's why we're upside down. And today I have a special treat for you. I have two Australian soldiers with me today to tell me what's in an Aussie Rat Pack. Let's get into it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> now pipe down! <laughs> so, uh, the first thing that I noticed in this bad boy is that there is no peelable seal like the American one, so hopefully they have knives or something like that to open it up. Or does it peel? <laughs> nah, you just rip it. Nah, nah mate! <laughs> just crack her open. Bam. Man, that is a lot of stuff. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is a 48 hour ration pack? 24 hours. Is that what I said? Yeah, it's what, 24 hours. Oh, shit. Cut! All right, so how many uh, main meals are in this bad boy? You got two. Yeah, there's, there's two main meals. Two main meals, I'm gonna lay everything out here. You tell me when I get to something truly delicious. I'm protecting the identities of these fine Australian soldiers so that they don't get demoted. <laughs> <laughs> Hearty beef stew. Yeah, that's amazing. That, that's a banger. It's a banger. Yeah. What's that mean? Whoa, that looks like it's about to explode. Peaches. Oh, oh pears. Oh, pears. You've Look at it. <laughs> You've lost the label. So yeah. you know uh, coffee flavor. No idea what that means. Uh, we got, there's a lot of these biscuit sandwiches. Oh, good. Old man candy. Nice. <laughs> Werther's Originals. Look at this thing. Now that is a spoon. Wow. Uh, Malay lamb curry. That, is that a main meal? That's a main meal. Oh, good. Sweetened condensed milk. <laughs> what is this for? Yeah, that's oh, okay. Uh, like a condiment pouch? Yeah. Man, this is uh, quite substantial. Uh, napkin. 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 Tissues. Tissues. Yeah, you toilet paper. A chocolate ration. S tickets. <laughs> S tickets. S tickets. <laughs> Yeast extract. What's that? Yeast extract. Vegemite. Ah, oh, Vegemite. I've heard all about this. I've heard it's delicious if you just put it right in your gums, right? Is that what you said to do? Yeah, on your gum, but on your tongue. Works well too. I'm going to try that. Feed it straight. Man, there's a ton of stuff in here. Instant mashed potatoes. That'll be really good with cold water, I bet. Matches? Matches. Matches. Jeez. Beverage bag or? Uh, or whatever you want to put in bag. Socks. Beverage <laughs> bag. Um, this looks like a like Nutrigain kind of bar. No, it's a, it's a scouring it, it pad. Oh! <laughs> scouring pad. Sustenance. You probably could eat it. Though. Nice. All fruit bar tropical. Creamy mushroom soup. Jeez. Drink powder. Non-dairy creamer. What's this? Oh, the bread. Bread. The bread. Is yeah. it good? Yeah. yeah. Are you lying? <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's New Zealand bread. It's strawberry jam. And this. 
And that's it for the bag. All right. Anything special about this? Yeah, it tells you exactly what you get in, uh, in each menu and the uh, caloric intake. Trash. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is designed for uh, 24 hours in the field. There's a ton of little snacks and stuff in here. There's some very Australian things in here, I've been told. Uh, namely, the yeast extract. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what should I try first? Go, go, go for some brekkie items. Get, in, uh, get into the... I'm sorry? The breakfast items. Oh, <laughs> breakfast items. Sure, not brekkie items. The, uh, the, the, the snack for breakfast I probably usually go for is there's a little fruit bar there. Um, fruit bar. I think you said it was a tropical one. All fruit bar tropical. Mm. Okay. Mm. It's, it's literally just uh, minced fruit put into a bar. Just have a big old bite of it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow, it looks all natural. That's for sure. That looks disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> It smells uh, smells like kind of a decaying fig or something like that. That's pretty off description. Yeah. It's like 10 different fruits. It's kind of like uh, those uh, fruit roll-ups or something if they were mashed together. 100%. Pretty good. Not bad. I feel like I'm going to be backed up for a couple weeks after eating this thing. <laughs> Wait until you get to the cheese. <laughs> Let me show you a, uh, a closer look at this weird looking thing. Mmm, see my teeth marks. All right, what's next? Now there should be a, a package of uh, dried muesli there somewhere. Oh, uh, this is glass. Yeah, top. This? Yeah, that's it, yeah. Natural muesli, mm -hmm. fruit and seeds. What do I do with this? Maybe add it with water, non-dairy creamer, and or sugar to suit individual taste. So yeah, what do I do? Do you mix it in here? Yeah, you can just put water straight in there. There's like a powdery texture that covers all like the oats and everything that's in it. it sort of creates a, a creamy texture, but you can put the condensed milk or yeah, straight across. There's a pear, there's a pear on there. All right. A tear. And you say you mix it in the bag. Cool. Yeah, you just mix it in the bag. So it's like oatmeal? Yeah. Yeah. Nothing easy. So you can do a couple of things, depending on how you like your cereal. You can probably start off with just water in it. Okay. Um, but you can also add some of your uh, milk powder. The creamer? Dairy creamer. Uh, and uh, your sweetened condensed milk to just spice it up. Like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. You guys look real excited for me to try this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's fascinating. Wow, that's uh, real thick stuff there. Okay. And then just mix it and yeah, mix it have in. a big old bite. Mix it in and have a bite. Am I going to be like blown away? It's muesli in a package. I've never had muesli before. It's, it's like a granola so. bar in a, in a packet. How big of a bite should I take here? However much you put on your spoon with the <laughs> Sizable bite, I don't know. Like that? Yeah, yeah, that, that looks good. good, yeah. You'll know if you haven't got enough water with it. I don't have enough water with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, real thick. Mm -hmm. Those raisins or craisins or? Sultanas. What? There's bits of everything there. Sultanas. It's good. It's, um... <laughs> it's kind of dry. <laughs> it's good. It's like a uh, oatmeal with uh, some fruit, dried fruit in it. Pretty good, good flavor. Doesn't taste like preservatives, really. Like everything in the American ones. Here's a closer look for the viewers at home, right? Yeah, most people do a one. Ah. What's next? Bread. Bread goes good. Yeah, bread goes hard. Mm. Bread, <laughs> bread goes hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is a contentious spot. The old, uh, the ration pack. Okay. Have this in a different area of venue. What they put on it, you'll, you'll be fighting people for years as to what the best way to eat it is. The bread. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Now there's definitely no artificial anything in this. I mean, that looks. <laughs> Take a look at this. I mean, that looks. Yeah. That's a, that's exactly what this looks like. Is Subway bread. You could slice it with this sturdy spoon too. Or you just put the jam or Vegemite or cheese or whatever you want to put on. What would you recommend I try first? I reckon first, rip off a tiny corner mm -hmm. and just taste it. And you get the idea of, of what the bread is, 
how the bread feels, how the bread tastes, mm. what your bond with the bread is. <laughs> wow. <laughs> your bond with the yeah. bread. It's an important, important uh, meal of the day. It has the same like kind of after preservative taste as the American kind, but it, it it's like a little bit lighter. It's not as dense. Does it taste like bread you could buy in the store? Not really, but it's not bad. So you think the yeast extract or the strawberry jam? Start with the jam. Why, the yeast extract is just that good? Oh, we don't want to put you out of the game straight away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, it's coming out. <laughs> oh. You just do it like this? Yeah, be, be careful I, that it might have a liquid consistency that will uh, come out. Should I have kneaded it? Potentially, yeah. All right, is that enough? Yeah. It's not bad. It's pretty good. Jam on bread. Yeah, I would eat this. Already better than the bread and uh, jam and an American one, that's for sure. Um, yeah, it tastes like strawberry jam. It's got like little strawberry seeds in it. Like a real jam. It's pretty good. All right. Is it time? It's time. So I've heard that I should put the whole tube on one bite. Is that right? Oh, <laughs> So yeast extract, that's the uh, like byproduct of uh, like beer. beer? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Kind of what's left over at the bottom of the barrel that uh, has no other use except for Australians to consume it. Yeah, I heard it's a big thing. Whoa, it's, look at that. <laughs> oh, I mean, if that doesn't look good, I don't know what does. <laughs> look at it. Well, I'd, I'd recommend a, uh, a small sliver of it first. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise it's it still slithering out of there. <laughs> <laughs> might be a little bit overpowering for you. Should I try it by itself so I know what the flavor is? 100%. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> right. <laughs> right under the tongue. Like this? Like just... Yeah, let's get it in there. Let's suck it out. It's flavors like a umami, right? Um, like salty... Just like, on a, what's your description? I need all the flavors. What flavor? It tastes like, <laughs> tastes like something that's been burnt and then s scraped out of a barrel, like you said. It's, uh, it is super salty. Super salty, but the actual flavor of it is, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like, it's like burnt tasting. It's uh, like kind of nutty, rich, whatever. <laughs> is that a lot? <laughs> that, that's a, I mean, that's a normal portion. Yeah. But... Probably you. It's not bad. No, no I, I don't mind it at all, actually. Yeah, it's good. If, it's good if you put it on a, on a cracker with some cheese as well. Take that, Australia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're no, you're Australian now. You yeah, can... this actually would be good with like uh, just cheese. Yeah. Well, cheese is there. There's You'll some get cheese there. Yeah. Should I do that now? Uh, yeah, if you want. There, there's a. There there's are a... crackers that you can do it with. That's probably going to be a better combo. Do you have to have a can opener for this? You certainly yeah, do. Condiment is... package. There's one in there? There's a Fred yeah. in the condiments package. Wow. Yeah, it's a... It's a Who's Fred? Uh, Who's Fred? Not, not the guy who <laughs> it's, a, it's a nickname for the uh, ridiculous eating device. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in there. We'll go through that in a second. I noticed you left off the F in Fred, didn't you? Yeah, I left off the F. Family friendly. <laughs> it's the family ridiculous eating um, device. What am I doing here? Like uh, this? There, there's a notch in front of the uh, cutting blade. I've never used one of these. <laughs> no. I have the ch 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 kind. It's getting started, yeah. Yeah, I get it. Look at that. Thanks, sir. Keep wiggling. <laughs> Open that point. Right. Here we go. Thanks. It's, a, it's also a spoon. Oh, wow. Another spoon. And we're back. Got my cheese opened. Wow. It smells like uh, cheese whiz. Yeah, have you guys had cheese whiz? No. <laughs> Nar? <laughs> Is that the stuff that's in the can? Yeah, I got some upstairs. We can try it. Ugh. It's probably better than this. Look at this stuff. This is like molding clay. Like, see how thick this is? <laughs> what do you do? You. Um, yeah, you just yeah. Put the spoon in it. Yeah, you're gonna be backed up for a week now. Real thick. Mm -hmm. Look. It's just uh, processed cheddar cheese. 
That was way too much of that. <laughs> <laughs> but that combo is way better than just the... <laughs> I got way too much. <laughs> oh, you get the Vegemite like just mm -hmm. right in between your teeth. Well, that's why you want to try and get it like between your gum and your teeth because you'll have it for hours, you know. Does it like keep you awake? Really get me awake. Too upset. What else? Uh, Would you say the, uh, the the whole grain cereal bar oh, next, yeah. or is there a flavor to this one? With fruit and chia seeds. Oh, they are? There's no difference? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Look at that. What's that stuff? Uh, that'd be like pumpkin seeds or something like that. It's food. It's calories. That's pretty good. It's real dry. Yeah. The, the chia seeds are going to get stuck in your teeth for sure. <laughs> well, the Vegemite's in there now, helping them out, so... It's not bad. It's like a real dry, like kind of granola bar with the seeds and the nuts and the oats in it. But that's definitely one of the more traded items. Oh, it's like yeah, like a good one. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. I'm trying to think what's uh, comparable in the U.S. MREs. Let me try. Right the other side, yeah. Uh, Fiscato's here too. Sampling some of these things. It's not bad, right? What do you think that's similar to? I don't think similar to anything. Yeah, I agree. Now, what is a biscuit cream cracker? They're just crackers. Are they supposed to be all crunched up like this? No. Nah. Oh. <laughs> but it's very rare to not get them all crunched up. You're lucky if you got one in there that's uh, all together. Ooh, they have a horrible smell to them. Really? Are they supposed to smell like this? I'll let you smell it in a second after I, I try one. They're all broken up. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't think I've smelled them. I think I've actually oh. smelt the cracker package. Huntley is what it says on them. Let's try it. They're real stale. <laughs> yeah, that sounds very right. These are gross. These are worse than ours. Really? Way worse. Like, I... They usually like one of the snacks I actually hate. They might actually be style. <laughs> I think they're pretty bad. Oh. They smell stale. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they're stale. I like cardboard. But I'd still eat them if I was outfield. Oh, well, yeah, of course. Do you guys have sao biscuits? S A O? Mm mm. Or sour biscuits? I don't know how to pronounce them. You got it back on home, but. Yeah, sao, yeah. That's what they are. Huh. Yeah, that sucks. Eh, it is what it is. Just tastes worse. Uh, it is, yeah. Vegemite will fix it though. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And, and cheese, cheese will... Main meals, so these are all the drink powders and the soups. The soups, would you, uh, I'm not sure, would you put this like in a canteen cup or something, or you, how would you do it? Um, I know I know some people mix the water straight into it. Uh, it's a little bit too thick. Like, <laughs> yeah, or they put it into the mashed potato. Yeah. I put it in the mashed potato. In it, so you think save this for yeah, the instant yeah, mashed potatoes, cold yeah. water, it'll be delicious. Put the condensed milk on this. Should we do that now or would you go in, uh, what the heck is that? I protein drink. Yeah, oh yeah, that's protein drink. Yeah, maybe I'll do the mashed potatoes now. So uh, what you're really going to have to do is like spread the bottom apart so that you get the water all the way down to the bottom of the mashed potato. Otherwise the water will sit. Oh, uh, it'll be all like, hard. At the bottom, we'll yeah. It's all dry. So is it safe to say that you both have eaten this MRE? Yeah. Yes. Or Rat Pack, excuse me, that's what you guys call them, right? Ration pack. Rat Pack! Rat Pack. What's it called on a Crip? Look at that. Combat ration, one person. Crip. Is that what it is? Yeah, now they're that's a gang here in the United yeah. States. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you knew that. Well, well they started out as Crim, Combat Ration, one man, but it's a new world, so we decided uh, to join a gang instead. Yeah, I don't do that. All right, so... It smells uh, mushroomy, so the whole thing in here. Yeah. <laughs> Aye, it's worth it. Is it? It's good. Have you had it cold? Yeah. yeah. Is it your favorite cold or warm? Usually, yeah, usually I'd have it warm if I can. Yeah. Um, and now I spread the bottom so that it gets all the way to the bottom, and now am I just pouring some water in? Yeah. Water. Now, when you think you've got too much water in there, uh, you need to put more in. It's, oh. It's going to absorb a lot of that. Do I have to like let this sit for a minute? Or? Yeah, pro probably get the spoon in it to mix it in as well. Alright, there's a real science to this. Mm. 
How many years did it take you to master this? <laughs> uh, it probably took me the first couple of exercises when I realized that uh, I don't like the mushroom table. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, usually I just like take out all the things I don't like and throw them away straight away. Okay. Now, did you guys eat this in uh, like your basic training or? Yeah. 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 You'll be eating the same thing the whole time. Do I need to keep stirring this? Because it's like the consistency of a soup right now. Yeah. Yeah, so what, just stir it? That's going to... Yeah, keep stirring. It's thickening up. I can feel it. Yeah, All right, so while I'm, while I'm stirring this, what are some other Australian words? And do you know Bluey personally? <laughs> Have, haven't met the guy, sorry. Yeah. That's crazy. I hear... Oh, watch out. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Bluey is a girl. Have you been to Bluey's Home Depot or whatever you call it there? Hammerbarn. Hammerbarn. <laughs> Hammerbarn, mate. Yeah, they uh, they brought one out in each state. Uh, one was close to where I live in Australia and Victoria, so so it's it's very much based off a uh, Bunnings warehouse, which is our equivalent to a uh, Home Depot. Home Depot. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, awesome place. Nice. Very uh, very Australian, uh, but uh, good cuisine there as well. It'll click now. What do you think? Am I doing good or? <laughs> <laughs> Looks pretty good, right? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, come back, come back. Yeah, you think it'll? It's ready. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> if this doesn't look like mashed potatoes, I don't know what does. <laughs> Let's uh. Wow, it smells fresh. <laughs> Should it, it'll just be thick mushroom soup. Surely. It's not my favorite. Mmm. <laughs> it's got a crunch to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's. Yeah. Oh. That's the dried potato. I mean, in all fairness, it's actually not bad. It's it's pretty good. It's uh. I think with hot water and this stirred for much longer and much better than this, it would be pretty good. The flavor of it is actually really good with the soup in it. So. There's a menu that has uh, chicken soup. That goes really good in it. Typically, that's going to be your last eaten thing in a wrap pack. Um, really? Yeah. There's some there's some fellas that I know that just eat it dry. Um, yeah. They call them bush chip bush uh, twisties or bu bush chippies. Huh. Because it just tastes like um, potato chips when it's dry. They mix like the. I saw that like kind of consistency. It looked yeah, like it. Yeah. Mix salt or something into it. Yeah. Yeah, but look, it's it's thickened up a lot. So check this out. I mean, is it the consistency of mashed potatoes? No, but it's actually uh, has a good taste to it. What's in the bag? It's today's sponsor of this video, the Keister Shaving Company, an anti-fog shave mirror that fits on 99% of shaving cream cans and tubes. And you might be asking yourself, my Keister's not that big. Well, turns out it comes in two sizes, the large size and the small size. Large size, small size, large size, small size. Let's see what's in the box. It's almost dummy proof. And you might be asking yourself, why do I get such a cool sticker? Well, because that's your warranty. Listen to the sound of the peel coming off of the skin. I mean the mirror. <laughs> Let's see it in action. Jean-Claude, shaving cream. Let's see it in action. Jean-Claude. It fits on the bottom of a shaving cream can like this. That way, you can ditch the sink forever. And your wife will love you again. If you thought that was impressive, watch this. Wow, smaller is almost better if you hold it away from your face. Join the shaving revolution today. Nice. Yeah, this one could be sharpened to a point though. Yeah. And it would. And it does. <laughs> <laughs> so All right. <laughs> Pretty common tradition that the first food you get in your first ration pack from exercise, it's the same one that'll stay with you. Uh, people take pride in, in keeping, keeping it for many years and many exercises. Wow. How long they can keep their spoon. Going well, for. I'm going to put this spoon in the shelf back there with the other one, so it'll stay there. <coughs> Sorry, I had mashed potatoes. Well, let's do the uh, hearty beef stew. So the American ones we, we always need first so that the fat is reincorporated into it. Oh, that sounds really good. I'm really excited for that. You'll fill up your cups canteen there, put it over a fire, get that nice warm, see that nice hot water, or jet boil or whatever you feel. And you'll just pretty much fold that in half and put it inside. Gotcha, to warm it up if you were going to eat it. Exactly the same way you would USM Oof. 
Ooh, baby. <laughs> yeah, look at that. There's like this, uh, huh. looks like red pepper and some chunks of uh, something. It looks more like meat than our mystery meat, so. Let's try a big old bite. The uh, vegetables look halfway, like, real. Mm. It's got, that was like red pepper. It tastes just like red pepper. Capsicum. Hmm. That's that word for it. Capsicum. Capsicum. Yeah, capsicum. It's a. Uh, it's not really a beef stew flavor like an American kind. It's it's much more. Uh, it's less salty and it's less meat and more vegetables. You taste the vegetables more than the meat or the, like the uh, the seasoning. But it's it's pretty good. Like this this would be good like heated up over fire. Hmm. Hmm. But depending on what you need, if you're in tree, it's Chuck it in your shirt, warm it up, if you're on patrol or something, you don't have the, the time to heat it up, or you put it in the engine bay of your car if you're driving around, <laughs> get it nice and hot. Yep, yeah, we Otherwise, do. The vast majority of us just eat it cold. Yeah. Okay. Malay lamb curry? Yeah, it's good. Is it good? Yeah. What is your favorite uh, rat pack? Mm. I'm, I'm a big spaghetti fan. There is a, really? There is a spaghetti in there. Yeah. Getting beef, I think it's really cool. Getting beef balls. Yeah, it does really good. Oh. Got the, uh, what is that? Turmeric? Wow, that looks interesting. I would assume that's what that spice is. It's the consistency of, uh, like, kind of cat food or maybe like pureed tuna, both of which may be delicious. Who knows? I mean, this looks rough, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it does not look good. I don't think I'd ever seek this one out. It contains milk. Ooh, it's got a little spice to it. Tastes like uh, tuna chunks, I guess that's lamb. But what gets me, oh God, that was awful. That was terrible. Bluey. Um, God. The worst part was the consistency of the congealed flavoring or whatever that is in there. Like that is not good. You like that? Yeah. Get out, get out. <laughs> <laughs> We're back on the plane. <laughs> yeah. Um, woo. It's got the spice to it and you definitely taste the, uh, the curry flavor, but that was not my thing. That was not, not. I'd have the beef stew over that one any day. Actually, the chili con cons are really good as well. Uh, yeah. um, all right, what's next? Now you're going to snacks, I think. Yeah. Uh, should I do a biscuit, jam biscuit? Before you open, though, there's, there's a tradition that, uh, that there's a couple ways that can go. So you can guess. There's three different types of shapes printed on the top of the biscuits or the bickies. Uh, and we guess what they are, and if we get them right, uh, we get to have them. Dude, uh, alternatively, uh, the other tradition is uh, any biscuit that has a heart on the top of it, you have to give to your mate. Uh, so, and, and, which is unlucky if you get two hearts, uh, because then you just you have no biscuits. Okay, so I have to. What are the what are the shapes? Uh, the circle, the star, and a heart. I guess you can't touch them, right? Because then you know. Or is, it's on it. I don't think it would make Do your best. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and you're supposed to guess all three? Or how many are in there? Yeah, there's, there's two. There's two. Yeah. So this one is obviously a circle and a heart. I mean, okay. Come on. I mean, they're yours. Yeah. So, so it doesn't matter. Oh, so you guess. You guess. Yeah, all right, you guess. Yeah, we get it. We get it. So, so they're also, you know, called the F of biscuits. If I see you with them, F for, you're going to tell me that because you want those biscuits and you're not giving them to me. So I'm going to do all my, my effort. I want those biscuits. Oh, so it's like F for like field artillery. That's what you mean? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Is there jam in them? Yeah. It's like a jam sandwich. Wow. I got a star and a circle. Oh, you're lucky. Yeah, you're safe. Nice. I mean, these look like uh, those thumbprint like Christmas cookies we make here in the United States. 
I think it's if it's pot of scotch and uh, yeah, short, short, short bread and jam. Yeah. I mean, those are good. Mm. Yeah, they're my favorite. Biscuit? Biscuits? I'm sure you guys have had plenty of them. <laughs> Bickies. Bickies. Mm. Bickies. That is that is the item in the ration pack. That, that is the coveted. Is it? Yeah. That's why you get two of them? Yeah. Two packed. My kids would like these actually. Mm. Scouring pad, I'm not going to eat that. Yeah, I'm sure you probably could. <laughs> I've seen yeah. people do it, but uh, probably had no sustenance. It's just a, it's like a. Like a Brillo a pad. Yeah. Or like a, um, the green scrubbing pads. Like it's doing got dishes. dried soap on the top of it so that when you wet, wet it, you can uh, wash your utensils. Depending on the rat pack you get, that can also be a, a thing of tuna. Um, tuna, tuna? Yeah. Tuna. Think of tuna. The tuna. tuna goes really well. Oh, not tuna. 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 There's also a teriyaki. Tuna. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Real tender. <laughs> Ours is way more tender than this. But you have a name brand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't. Ours is mystery meat. <laughs> uh, what else is in your little condiment package? You get rubber bands. What do you use your rubber bands for? Uh, to close the ration pack back up. Oh, if you don't eat the whole thing. Or, or for, um, you know, like your one five two antennas to keep them together. Yeah. Whatever you need. Yeah, really. Rubber I bands. mean, that's nice that you get, you get what, three, three uh, rubber bands in it. That's pretty neat. We don't get that. Sugar white vine. Two sugar white vines. Uh, Mentos the fresh maker. What is that? Gum? Yeah, gum. Mm -hmm. Freeze dried coffee. How is the coffee? Do you guys drink it's it? It's good. Actually, is it? Yeah. All right. Well, like a dried coffee, it's, it's pretty good. Coffee. Ground back black pepper. What else? Tea bag. <laughs> uh, what kind of tea is it? Uh, I think it's, it's bell, like bell tea, I believe, is the tea that they use. Uh, that uh, black tea. I notice a lot of this stuff is uh, packaged in New Zealand. Yeah. Interesting. So, I'm not sure if it's still the way, but um, we make... As in Australia makes New Zealand's ration packs and New Zealand makes ours. Hmm. Yeah, we, uh, a lot of the Canadian rations are made in Atlanta, Georgia, I believe. Mm. When ours are made in, is it, is it South, South Carolina? So Pat Co., I believe so. All right, so freeze dried coffee, you get two coffees, you get all the condiments with it, the sugar tea bags. Whoa. This is a isotonic drink powder that's hard, so I'm not even going to bother opening this bad boy. Uh, but I assume this is like a electrolyte kind of drink. Yes. Yeah, similar yeah. to what we get. All right. Um, you got a protein drink. This is coffee flavor. Yeah, that, that one's a better of the two. The other one's chocolate. Is it? Yeah. Okay. It, it used to be uh, sausage, um, which is I don't know, some brand name. Oh, gotcha. Uh, slash coffee drink, depending which one you got, which is really good. This is a decline in, in quality, but. Oh. Um, Typically, you would just open them up, fill them with water, and, and eat them, drink them. A lot of people crush up the biscuits and put them in there, too. I don't know if I should open these. <laughs> Dice, peaches, and syrups, because it's about to explode. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, chocolate bar. Yeah, chocolate. Yeah. Covered in white. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, after a while, they, they go white and powdery. All right, so let's see what's in the... Uh, Chocolate go, ration. Is it got a sealed date? Guess that out. Put it back. Best before end December 2019. Yeah, so Bad. Five years. Yeah, just a couple years off. I mean, whatever. Oh wow, it's white. <laughs> <laughs> is this white chocolate? Uh, no, it's, it's milk, normal milk chocolate. It doesn't look very like, normal to me. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Normal. Mmm. Well, just lost the overhead camera. That sucks. I don't know why I did that. That's not very good. Alright. Be right back. I gotta fix my camera. Oh, that chocolate's not good. <laughs> so, I'm out. <laughs> yeah. so imagine eating 10 of those within 10 minutes. All right, cut. I'm back with a can opener, but sadly without my Australian friends. 
And before I go any further in this video, I just want to say that those are some of the nicest guys I've ever dealt with before and ever talked to. So I just want to thank them. You guys are fantastic. Have a safe trip back and look me up whenever you're back. It was a pleasure having you. I was told that even though these look like they're about to explode, that I should try them. These are diced peaches in syrup. I got this one. I think it's going to be like a, a geyser of uh, peach syrup when I open this, but let's find out. Oh, you hear that uh, like hiss that came out of there? It's a good sign. <laughs> Maybe? Mmm, I can smell the uh, smell of metal and peach. That does not look good. Wow. I mean, that does not look appetizing. Oof. I don't know if I can do it. Oh, look at this. Let me show you. Oh, baby. So the Australian guys were saying that I should have mixed this in with the uh, mus musile, mus mus whatever the breakfast porridge or stuff that was. But I'll try a peach. Let's see. I'm not a real big peach guy, but they have a very off taste or smell. Yeah, I definitely don't want to eat any more of those. Um, does it taste like a peach? No. It tastes like a, um, I don't even know. It can taste like nothing. It's a little bit sweet and the consistency is not like soft like you'd expect from a peach or even a canned peach. It's like a little bit harder and like chewier, um, but not bad. I mean, I can see how that would be good mixed in with like the uh, granola or the breakfast kind of cereal as they call it, the Aussies. Not my favorite though. Gah. Look, America, they have name brand. We should too. Uh, there are two different kinds of the chewing gum. We'll try the, uh, the WWs as they call it in Australia because they're upside down. Uh, different kind of packaging, but the good news is these are best before uh, September of 2019. Let's try it. <laughs> mm. The older these get, the harder they get. Still good though. Tastes like an M&M. &M. They said the sweetening condensed milk is really good and it's good to add to a variety of different things, and you can put it on your biscuit. Oh. Whoa. It's a weird, uh, totally not what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be white. I can't smell it at all. That's a huge tube of that stuff, and it's just sugar. You can see what it looks like there. Let's try it. Yeah, really no smell. I just got it on my nose. <laughs> really no smell at all, but let's see. I mean, it's like caramely tasting and you can feel the sugar in it in your teeth, but it doesn't taste bad. This would be good to add into coffee or sweeten up any of the food items in here. Yeah, not bad at all. All right, we got a uh, old man candy here, Werther's Originals, which is actually really good. I like these. I get made fun of for liking these. I also like ginger ale, fun fact. And, oh, wow, these are nice because they're individually wrapped, so it's harder for them to melt together. I've had these before. If you've never had a Werther's Original, highly uh, recommend them. They're good. You can find them in the grocery store here in the United States. Uh, two different Mentos gums. Uh, a pure fresh, which is a fresh mint, and then there's like a, I think this is like a spearmint. This one looks like it's been crushed. Let's open it. Ooh, and the color's a little off on them. There's some black on them. Not gonna eat that. Yeah, these are squished as well. Mentos are supposed to be a little bit more uh, full than these. These are like little discs. Uh, that's nice that they have the, the two different kinds of name brand gum in there. 
nice uh, after dinner snack. Last but not least, we have the waterproof matches. Oh, I did another one in a different country. I think it was the last one. The British MREs had these super uh, long matches like this. Actually, the exact same one. So it's interesting that there are the two different varieties. They have the big ones and then these little ones with the striker on the side, which I like that it comes in this little waterproof container. That's actually pretty cool. And I'm going to keep this because I could use this on a camping trip with my kids. Got a little keychain on it. And supposedly if these get wet, it'll still work. Just go out. So this is everything for a 24 hour ration. There are two main meals and everything else that you saw in here. Uh, I really like the sturdiness of the spoon, the included matches, all of the different items that came in here uh, and really nothing was terrible. Um, there were some things that were obviously not very good. Uh, Vegemite, I like Vegemite. I can say that now. Buru, I like Vegemite. Um, so I think I'd have to rate this one at a solid 70 out of 100 because it did have very interesting things. Everything tasted pretty decent. It wasn't horrible and it further confirms that the United States has the worst MREs out of anywhere I've tried thus far. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and as always, don't run with scissors. Call your mom. She probably misses you.